Hello, hello. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Freddy's, Gustavo, Roxana, and Maria Eugenia. So, um, what's the weather like in the place where you live? Your hometown. Here it's not too raining. It's raining? Yes. A lot or just a little? Uh, for the moment, it started uh, very slow, a, a little bit. But uh, I think it started too much wrong. Okay, okay. Got it. Ready? It's just like a normal day. You could see the stars. Wow. A normal day in Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> in Los Angeles. You were there, right? Yeah. Okay. I used to go to Universal Studio. <laughs> awesome. So I guess that there, it's like being in Latin America somehow because you see a lot of Latinos, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Blanca is here now. Hi, teacher. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Well, yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah. All right. So we're getting ready. Let's just give a couple of seconds to the rest of your classmates to join us. And then we'll get the party started. Roxana and Blanca, what's the weather like in your in your hometown? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. It's raining. It's not raining. Uh... So in Roxana's place, it's not. In Blanca's place, it is. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Who's who's here now? Juan Jose, Brenda. Hi. And Beatriz. Good evening. How are you feeling today, Francisco? Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi teacher. Good evening. Francisco. Okay, excellent. Good evening. How was your Tuesday at work? A little hard. A little hard? Harder mm. than yesterday? Mm. Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Hey. Heavy. Heavy, yes. Brenda, uh, is it raining in La Majada? Is that the place? Uh -huh. Is that the name of the place? Yes, a lot. A lot. With okay. thunderstorm. <laughs> Wow, yeah, it's it's the it's an electric storm here too in San Miguel, but the heaviest time was at the beginning, like 30 minutes ago. Right now mm -hmm. it's uh, regular rain. Wow, yeah. now here is like crazy, like uh believe it or not, thing. it's raining in San Miguel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it came from there. Yeah, probably all the way to Aguachapan, right? No. Mm -hmm. Mm. Or is part of Sonsonate? No, it's Watch Japan. Sonsonate belongs to Sonsonate. It belongs to Sonsonate. Oh, okay. Yes. I always get confused because there are some places in between, right? Uh huh. Yeah. And, uh, it's very, very um, close. Mm -hmm. They're very close. Exactly. Okay. Mariela, welcome. And um, I think it's, yeah, just Mariela has joined us in the last minute. 
Okay, we're getting ready. And as you remember, what is the first thing that we're going to do after taking the attendance and um, and trying to remember about yesterday's class? Speak with Emilio. Play with Emilio. Speak with Emilio. <laughs> what? Play with Emilio. Play with Emilia. No, it's not the first thing that you're going to do this time. Okay. <laughs> I haven't thought about what Tuesday is going to represent, but we'll see. Okay. The quiet class. It's going to be talking Tuesday. So we're going to focus on speaking. That will be the day. Okay. Talking Tuesday. Now, um, so we already have Monday, Motivation Monday, Talking Tuesday, thir tri well, Thursday Trivia, and Fun Friday. So we're missing just Wednesday. We're going to think about that tomorrow. Let's Teacher, focus on today. Hello? We have, we have X on Monday then. Monday? Yeah, because X. X, yeah, because there is a thing there that says that on Monday, neither the hands put X or lay X. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I but that's in Spanish, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, in Spanish we have that saying, but in English, mm, not sure. You sure? Hello. Um, I have a question. Ask me. Okay. I remember that you um, tell that you have a pet. I have two, yes. Yes, a uh, dog and cat. Yeah, a dog and a cat. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you say um, castrar? I think it's castrate, but let me double check. Okay. There are, there are a couple of different terms that we can use for that. Um, yeah, but yes, is, uh, uh, I look or search the this word uh, mm -hmm. in Google. Yep, castrate. Castrate. Yeah, castrate. Um, okay, okay. I have a, a little confusion. You have a little confusion. Yes. Yeah, so I already castrated my, my cat, for example. Mm -hmm. I castrated Ooh. my cat, but not my dog. Oh, no. you won't have grandchildren. No, I won't have more. There are enough <laughs> cats and dogs. <laughs> All the colony. <laughs> All the neighborhood. Yeah, it's a lot of cats and dogs around. Oh, yes. Uh, however, it's a problem because the old neighbors maybe need to money for. <laughs> For the cover, the cost. Expenses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I want to be a responsible father, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> the big problem is when, when you have a, a dog and um, the dog is a, a small or little. Uh -huh. Because they tend to escape oh yeah no but my dog oh, or whatever is medium place. size my dog is medium size so he won't escape yes i i know uh the the dog the, my neighbor is a chihuahua oh <laughs> uh, i don't know why they 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 categorize chihuahuas as dogs i think they should be in another category like chicken yeah like <laughs> i don't know like a small rat <laughs> yes but the dog in between <laughs> the, the, when how do you say cruzar or pasar el frente cross or pass by uh, pass yeah. by to the house to my neighbor that's in front of your house okay got it yes you need to have a a very care, not for dog, it's for to can to put the feet to the dog. Um, okay. <laughs> now, 
Uh, yeah, I, I mean, talking no about we, we, we would never finish. There are many things to say about that. Uh, but anyways, uh, let me see who's here now. Elizabeth, Harbin, and Laura. Welcome, guys. Good evening. I'm going to take the Good attendance. Finish. I'm going to take the attendance quickly, and then we're going to get started with the presentations from yesterday's class. As you remember, we were talking about what? Beatriz? Present or absent? Yeah. Okay, there you are, Mariela. Present. Blanca. Brenda. I'm here, teacher. Diana. I'm here too. I'm okay, here. nice. Diana is here. Oh yeah, I can yes. see the bed now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is that famous background from Diana, right? <laughs> and then we have Diego. Not here yet. Floor. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Francisco. Presentation. Freddy's. I'm here, teacher. Laura. Present, teacher. Jackie. Not here yet. Uh, Jennifer and Harvin. Present, teacher. Okay, Juan Jose. I'm here. Gustavo. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Miguel Angel. Not here yet. Uh, Fabio. Rolando. Janari. Roxana. Present teacher. Here is training. Elizabeth. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry here. about that. I'm here. I hear you now, Janari. And Suleyma is not here, I think. No. Okay, Miguel, welcome. I just took the attendance right now. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Evening. Thank you. Okay. I, so. I, I stay late because I have problems with my internet because it's raining in my home. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> yes, but I, I am. Cool. Okay, so thank you so much, guys, for being on time. Uh, we're going to get started now. Um, I just want to confirm um, if there is at least one person from each group. Wait a second. Okay, so um, we had, okay, I cannot see the names, the team members here, but maybe you can help me out to remember who was working with whom. So um, let me see the presentation, maybe it's there, no. I forgot to take the screenshot of the of the teams. So the team number one, uh, I just remember that it was related to animals, I think, to pets. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm your pet. Yes. Okay, so it was Blanca's group. Um, so who, who is going to present from Blanca's group? Francisco. Francisco was the chosen one. Is that right, Francisco? I tried. Okay, you will try, that's the attitude. And the most okay. important, right, that we try. So, um, are you going to share something or uh, on the screen? Yeah, Diana is going to share it. 
Yeah. Perfect. That was the SWOT analysis. Um, but right now we're going to talk about the... Yes, well, este... Our idea... The strategies that... or methods or tests to... Te I mean, yeah, to evaluate the product, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, yes, uh... Uh... So go ahead. You have your three minutes. I'll give you one more extra minute in case you need it. Our strategy begins oh. with the SWOT analysis. Okay, okay. Just keep track of time, okay? I'm going to start with the timer. I'll give you four minutes beginning now. Okay. Uh, our idea is to uh, present our order or most or product. For example, uh, we talk about that we can to development uh, a gadget. Mm -hmm. For example, when 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 this gadget you you can to monitor your pet. Uh, for example, uh, or idea or idea is that uh, we can show the the product when wherever ONG uh, ONG uh, do the um, campaign the campaign the campaign ah okay. you you mean the non governmental organization NGO yes. in English yes. is NGO ah, okay uh, we can maybe we can we can uh, combine with ENGO NGO or NGO for uh, for example this Saturday I know that uh, the University to El Salvador mm -hmm. uh, to the Astra the the the, the pet castration de perro dogs castration dogs castration um for example in this event we we can to show with product um if if you you can go to when when you pet you can Maybe maybe you can to to have a char bath for 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 you our product. Mm -hmm. This is uh, our idea. Anybody else? Anything else that you want to add? Francisco? Hello, hello. I cannot hear you, Francisco. You okay. share? Hello? You, you can hear me? Now yes. Okay. Um in this event, I we talk about or, or show or product. Mm. I don't know if this is if my idea and the and the group, for example. Yeah, just something to add that mm -hmm. we will uh, use the strategy blind test and monadic method. Blind test because we want to, we want that the people can use the, the find your dog uh, system uh, with our interest in the brand of our product. 
and then they can um they can cite it, handle it, and read it with the app. Um, we can get the feedback for improves that we have to do for in our product, uh -huh. the for improvement, and then launching in the in the to the market audience. Okay, to the well, in this case, it would be the target audience, right? The target audience. Oh, the target audience. Excellent. Thank you so much. Class or reactions for the team number one, please. Really good job, guys. And then um, Jackie and Fabio are already here. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Uh, and Diego too, okay, so good evening. good evening. Right now we just started with the first presentation of the team number one. They were talking about the app uh, that it's find your pet. And they mentioned that the best method for them would be the, mon the monadic one, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Okay, the monadic one because users could use, uh, try and, uh, Apply the, the the app in real context, and they will evaluate it, evaluate the app. Okay, rate it. So thank you so much, team number two. Who will be the participant who will share with us? Who's going to be the volunteer? Uh, me, teacher. Oh. Or the team number two. Team number two, yeah. Your time begins when you tell me you're ready let me just get a pen because this one doesn't work okay okay i am ready no. i think okay perfect your time begins in three two one go okay uh, in last time uh, class we make uh, an idea of an app that time we didn't have a name for it, but <laughs> now you do. <laughs> now, just that we think in a name, we call it Pet Lover. Uh, just for recap, uh, the app uh, is an app to help organize your pet information, and that information is uh, will be like. Uh, your pet bear day, pet control, favorite food, allergies, and similar things. Uh, I don't know if we have to talk about the SWOT analysis because- mm, You don't have to. Okay. So for this app, we choose uh, two, two methods to test the app. Uh, the first one was the monadic method and the second pair comparison test. The pair, pair comparison test. For the monadic method, uh, we, choose, we choose that because we, it will permit us for, to know if the people, if the people liked how, how the app works. Uh, they can tell us if some characteristic that they they find it up are not well implemented and things like this, but just in, just in the app. And okay. the pair comparison test will help us an analyze if uh, some similar apps do some things better or uh, have some characteristic that our app didn't didn't implement that well. Mm -hmm. For that reason, we choose these two. And the I think the first one may, must be the monadic method. Definitely. And I don't know <laughs> what else. Okay, uh, I don't know if somebody else from the team wants to add something to what Fabio already shared with us. A question, uh, what is a synonym for permit? Permit? Yeah, uh, what is a synonym? 
Because you say the uh, that allow. would permit us. Okay, you say allow. allow us. Very good. Allow us. allow us. That would be the the the, the best option in this case. Allow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Allow us. Allow us to evaluate it. Okay, got it. Uh, well, there are no more comments from the team number two. That is Pets Lover app. So they agree with the monadic test, similar to the Find Your Pet app. So congratulations. Thank you so much. The time it's okay. It was only three minutes. So you were fast and furious. <laughs> so excellent reactions and, or claps for them, please. Okay, excellent. So we're going to go on with the team number three. Who is going to be the representative from that team? Beatriz. Okay, excellent. Yes. Uh, what is the name of your product? Uh, it's about succulents and cactus. Oh, that was sunshine, right? Something like that. Yeah, sunshine. Exactly. Sunshine. Okay, got we, it. We retain the the product that we developed in the in the last in, class. In the last classes. Okay, excellent. So let me know when you're ready and start your presentation. Ready, teacher. Okay, ready, Freddy. One, two, three, go. Well, in, in our team, we di discuss what is the best uh, strategy and what the best uh, testing strategy? Strategy. We strategies. We choose a uh, site and handling test because the succulents and cactus uh, are uh, organic plants, and you need to seed them, and you need to to know what is the best way to to take care of them. So uh, with this test, the people had the opportunity to see them. Uh, we, this kind of plan, uh, uh, give, give a different experience with, with, in comparison with another, with another, with another plants. And if you want to, to have a, a uh, good experience, uh, good memories uh, is a good option to buy cactus and succulents. Maybe you want to give a, a special present for something special. You can buy uh, a succulents or, or or cactus. The people when people see the plants. Uh, we can, we can, they, they can, they can choose one of this one for something for someone special and give some happiness for someone else because these kind of plants, uh, they aren't, they aren't so delicate. You can take care uh, in a, in a easy, in a, in an easy, in an easy way. Uh, with this can we translate someone else uh, the happiness and you can get a good present for for for, for someone for a special occasions like some Valentine's Day or Christmas or for for baby for birthday. So when the people so see the plants, they decide or you can inform for 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 buying for for buying these kind of plants, not all the people know them, but they can have a, a good option for for buying uh, uh, things different to to get for a present. That's it. And that's all. Okay, exactly three minutes. Thank you so much. We're going to uh, give some reactions, some claps, thumbs up, hearts, taras to Beatriz and her team. That is Sunshine, side and handling test. Well, that was the one they chose. Um, 
And last but not least, we have the team number four. Who is going to be the representative from the, that team? Me, teacher. Okay, Roland is in the house. That is the attitude, Rolando. <laughs> yes, volunteering, okay. volunteering since module one. Okay, thank you, thank you. Belly. Yes, I'm really motivated. <laughs> okay. Well, um, our what is product the name of your product, sorry? Is Quaternary Ammonium with Fragrance Lemon and Lavender. That's a long name for a product, man. Yeah, because uh, the this is the, the uh, this is an innovation. Yeah, because okay. we have we have another presentation without fragrance, and the objective is, is that the the customer uh, uh, advise the difference between products. Okay, so the name yeah. is Quaternarium Ammonium Anium? with fragrances. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Well. We we decide uh, or we select the metal fire comparison test because we have two presentations, the the innovation and the older. Yeah. And the objective is uh, have an stand with both presentations. Yeah. And the customer uh, uh, take with the hand with, with the hands and check the difference between. Yeah, and the end, the customer take the decision what uh, want to buy. Yeah, because uh, not all the people like the, the fragrance. Yeah, some people like uh, neutral fragrance. But if you know the the, <laughs> the fragrance for for the normal uh, quaternary ammonium, it's not better. Yeah, if you try. No. I think we lost Rolando. So maybe somebody can help from the team and continue talking about the quaternarian ammonium with fragrances. The team four, I think, was one of the biggest ones. So we have a lot of members here. Okay, teacher. I will continue. Okay. You can take it from okay. there and then you go on. Yes. Yes, okay, we select that the test use test and per comparison test because our product will be used uh, every single day for our customer and they have to check how our product work and they will use and they enjoy it while they are care their health. And this is the important thing that we are looking for our product and, and in innovation product that we have because uh, with Quaternario with Essence are a good product right now because for the situation we are living right now. Exactly. Okay. I think this is, that's it all. That's it, the most important point that we select that test. Awesome. So reactions for them, please. Thank you so much, Harbin. Uh, we're going to check. Okay. Um, I'm going to use Aptara in this case because we're done. And everybody participated, right? All the team members were working yesterday. I, I could see and hear everybody talking. So that was awesome. Uh, I would like to hear some comments uh, about this activity uh, for about selecting a test or method or strategy that suits the product that you worked on. So how important was this for you in the process of uh, discussing and creating your product, right? Um, even though it's not real, even though it's not real, but the experience, I mean, it's part of the process that people follow when, when they have a product. So it should be like this, okay? If you want to start a new business or if you want to launch a product to the market, you need to do this, right? You need to make an analysis. You need to 
uh, think about the different methods that you can use for evaluating the product or testing the product before you, you, you launch it to the market. The different steps, right, to launch the product is not just to think about it, create it, and sell it. No, there are more steps. And we were discussing about that too, right? So we're talking about the idea generation, we're talking about the test uh, marketing, we we're talking about the commercialization, launching, and more steps, okay, more steps. So um, anybody who would like to say something about this experience of selecting a method or testing method or testing strategies for a product? I can say that it's very important because when you develop a product, it's very important to know what the people think about the thing that you are trying to sell. It's very important. It's not just to have a product or just to be in the market. It's about how much money you would do with the thing that you are trying to sell. Correct. Okay, excellent. So uh, somebody else who wants to add to what Brenda share with us right now? Hello, Beatriz, go ahead, please. Um, some people when buy a new product and they don't have any experience about that, about that or they don't know the brand and decide to, to buy or try it, maybe because they want to know if the product really worked. In my case, for example, when I don't know anything about the product, I, I review the instructions or the ingredients that the product had, and I try with them. I think that it's the only way that I that I think uh, if the product work or doesn't work. Okay, excellent. Um, that would be Beatriz's opinion. And yes, I totally agree with both of you uh, girls. It is an important part of the process and we learn from these experiences, right? So. In this, in this course, we're not just learning English. We're also learning uh, some technical things that eventually could be useful in, uh, if we have an idea, right? To start something similar to this or just to have the knowledge, okay? Mm -hmm. Just to have the knowledge because sometimes uh, the conversation arises, right? Out of the blue and somebody starts talking about businesses and ideas and now you, know, you have this information, right? So the in whenever you have to give an opinion you can um participate because you have the theory now i am going to launch a little survey with you so that you can answer the questions that are four questions okay the question number one is select the product you like the most out of the four okay you have to select the one that you like the most in your opinion right uh, this is anonymous so don't worry about it Question number two, which product do you think could be successful in El Salvador? Which of the four products could be successful in El Salvador? Number three, which of the two processes was more difficult for you to work on? The SWOT analysis or the testing method? And question number four, have you ever considered creating a product or offering a service in order to start your own business? Yes or no? So that's what you're going to answer right now. I am going to share the screen, well, the poll, so you can answer. Remember that you can select only one answer for each question, okay? So ready, set, go. Right now you can see the poll. The name of the poll or the survey is an interesting product. Okay, we're getting the first answers. Of course, you can select the product that you presented, but if you like another product, you can select that one, right? Maybe you are like, oh, that product was really interesting.
to make it more objective, right? <laughs> Oh man, I'm sorry about Rolando and Diana. Okay, Diana is back, Rolando. Okay, Rolando is connecting now. We're having some internet connection problems. Okay, so we have already 16, 17 participants answering the questions. Awesome. Remember that you have to answer the four questions, right? Okay, we have 18 out of 20. So we're missing two people to answer the questions. Okay, 19 people out of 20. Excellent, 20 out of 20. So everybody answer the survey. Now, I'm going to end the poll or survey. Uh, poll is more common in British English, but yeah, it's also uh, considered in, in, in American English too. So um, I'm going to end the poll and share the results with you. Give me just a moment. Share the results so you can see it right now. Okay, so the, the product that people liked the most was the Pets Lover app with seven votes out of 20. Okay, that is the 35% of the participants. So nice. And Quarantin was the second one, right? Now, which product do you think could be successful in El Salvador right now? A quaternarian ammonia with fragrances. We have to work on the name, right? So it's easier to pronounce or to remember. Uh, maybe quamonium, <laughs> something like that. Uh, we're going to, that would be the first one. And the other three had the same number of boats. Awesome. Now, which of the two processes was more difficult for you? Ah, oh, the SWOT analysis, 14 people said that. Yeah, it's, it was more difficult because you have to consider more aspects, okay? And have you ever considered creating a product or offering a service? 16 people answer yes. Awesome. Uh, would anybody like to share his or her idea of a product or business? Yes, no, somebody? Or you don't want people to take your idea, right? It has copyright. Yeah, it's because of the copyright, exactly. Okay, raise your hand if you have had the idea of creating a business, of opening, a, starting a business. Just raise your hand, okay? Don't mention what idea it was. Okay, let me see, floor. Rolando, Gustavo, Roxana, Brenda, Jackie, Beatriz, Blanca. Okay. Uh... <laughs> okay, in the chat, Diana said that they can't, you can't share it because somebody here might have the budget or the money, right? <laughs> to make it real. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> okay, cool. So yes, I think that we all have ideas, right? Uh, it's like a friend of mine, he used to have the idea of the pupusa and pizza, like mixed. And some, like a year later, somebody had that idea in another part of the country. So he was like, that was my idea. But he never make it true, right? Make it, he never created the, 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 I think that he called it pupu pizza, something like that, but that's just for you to, to, to have an idea, right? That people come up with ideas, but some others uh, have the same ideas and they make it real. Um, so. Teacher. What? Hello. In, in my case, when, when it was the strongest of the quarantine, mm -hmm. the quarantine was totally stopped. So with my husband, we start making food to sell and deliver in Lourdes, Colón. That is where we live. 
Ajá. For us in Facebook, like Doña Chica. Now it's a stop, but in a future, maybe we, we will continue. Okay, pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, they, they say, Doña Chica, remember. <laughs> <laughs> They say I, I took one. Uh, I was in a in a little talk about um, entrepreneurship, um, and they said that there are two kinds of entre entrepreneurs: one that is for need or for necessity, and another one that is for opportunity. So uh, the first one is because you don't have money, you don't have a job, so you think about something, and the second is because of opportunity. You see the opportunity, and you start your own business. Right, so there are those are the two kinds of uh, entrepreneurs uh, that exist for opportunity or for need, right? And which one do you think is more inspired? I think the one that needs the money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, as they say, right? Hunger is the mother of all uh, imagination, or something like that. Uh, <laughs> two participants raise a hand. Okay, that was uh, Beatriz and Blanca. Tell us, please. What do you want to share with us? No, sorry, I, I don't put down my hand. Ah, you didn't, <laughs> sorry. You didn't lower it. Okay, Beatriz? Yeah, yeah. Well, in my case, before pandemic, my uh -huh. husband and I started with a wrong, with a wrong business. We had um, legal services, and my husband is in, is in charge. Uh, because I don't have enough time because I have I work in, in a band. Now we had two years with this business. Uh, we have start with anything customers, but now uh, we had we got experience and we have some customers and we provide some of the services. Oh wow, congrats. Okay. And at the same time. Uh -huh. And at the same time, we start with uh, sending coffee, artisanal coffee, uh -huh. uh, molido. I don't know how do you say that. That would be, be grounded. Green. Yeah, we had our brand. We had the copyright, of course. We are lawyer. We had the register, and we have the certificate. Uh, the name is Aniony Montano. You can write in the chat just because I can I I I cannot hear it so well so maybe you can mm -hmm. So we know the name. Uh well gr ground coffee that would be the name or ground coffee. Okay? Uh, and the other one is grain coffee. Grain coffee, the ones that is com is full, right? Uh, it's is a grain, a complete grain. Uh, Vian and Montana coffee. Okay, I have had ideas about coffee businesses. Uh, to be honest with you, okay, but let's go on. Whenever I have the the, the idea, I will I will let you know. <laughs> um, we're going to move on and to the next step. So today we have the Talking Tuesday, as I told you, right? So what we're going to do right now in the next minutes is to talk. And the topic in this case is going to be about business. So I'm going to give you just two questions. You are going to discuss that with your, with your classmate in the, in the breakout rooms. Okay, the first one is, uh, what kind of uh, business do you think it's profitable nowadays? What kind of business do you think it's profitable nowadays? I'm going to write it down in the chat so you don't forget about it. What kind of business do you think is profitable? Do you, do, are you familiar with the, with the word profitable? Or, pro or profit? Yes, that's right. No teacher, what what's mean? Profitable, as uh, Brenda was saying, right? Something that can give you money. 
Okay, something that uh, can work and uh, be a good business, right? So, um, rentable, that would be one translation or productive, right? Profitable. Like Bitcoin. Like what? Bitcoin. Eh, maybe, maybe uh, that was profitable at the beginning uh, for the people who started buying them, but in the present it's uh, difficult to know, okay? <laughs> difficult to say. <laughs> uh, what kind yes, of business but... do you think is profitable nowadays? That is the first question. Nowadays, that's question number one. Question number two. Uh, Brenda is programming, maybe he can help me. Okay. The question number two. For, for, for to do Bitcoin. To make. To make I, to I, make. I share my phone number in the chat. <laughs> okay, okay. What are the most important uh, factors to consider before starting a business? So that's the question number two. What are the most important factors to consider before starting a business or before running a business? Okay, and the question number one is, what kind of business do you think uh, is profitable nowadays? Okay, what kind of business or what kind of businesses, right? In plural. So I am going to send you to the breakout rooms. You are going to have exactly six minutes to talk. You will have enough time. So, because you will be in purse and here we go. Okay, let me check. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, one, two. Okay, everybody's got a, a break of room. So I'm just going to make sure that, okay, perfect. Ready, set, and later you continue with the conversation in the chat, okay? Go. Six minutes to answer those two questions. Discuss the two questions. Okay, I set the invitation to join the breakout room. Excellent. One, two, one, two, one, two, one and two. What method uh, we using to... Hello? The two Hello, questions that, that you're going to discuss is question number one. What yes. kind of business or businesses do you think okay. are profitable nowadays? Mm -hmm. so, okay. Profitable is rentable. Yeah. And the second question is uh, what factors are the most important to consider before starting a business, what factors are important to consider before you start a business? Have the money. <laughs> yeah, no, so this, that's what you're going to express right now. In this moment is the... Good evening, teacher. I think no. Jacqueline have problem with, with microphone. With the microphone, oh. So maybe if you disconnect the the earphones, Jackie. You try directly from the microphone in the and now? Now yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I was using them because it's raining. I lost him. Oh, okay, got it. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
in my case, just my just my mother's family. Oh. And nice. my my dad's family are San Miguel. Just I I born in San Miguel. <laughs> you were born in San Miguel. I was born in San Miguel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know Teacher, that. You listen now. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no problem. You're getting to know each other. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I told I told to uh, Gustavo? Gustavo. Yes, Gustavo. Then then my family, then my mother's family is and uh, Washapan. It's from Washapan. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, from Washapan. Yeah, and I have and I have a house in Washapan. Nice. But but for my job, I stay near San Salvador. Got it. Yeah. yeah me too. Uh, one. Once once for a week. Once a week. One, once a week. Yes. Once a week. Yes. Good to see you, Flor. Nice to see you too, teacher. It's good that you're home and you're not driving or cooking right now. <laughs> yes, but now it's start raining too hard. Oh. So I, I, I'm from my home and I had, I don't listen to, too well. Oh, so you need to get your earphones probably. Yes, I, I will look for someone. Okay. What? <laughs> Can you hear me? Hello, Laura. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. We, you, we have you, a problem. You I cannot can hear, hear Beatriz. Oh. Yes. I can hear Beatriz. And she asked me how or what is the activity? Okay, so you have to answer two questions. Question number one. What kind of businesses do you think are profitable nowadays in the present? What type of negocios son rentables en la actualidad? And the second question is, uh, what are the most important factors to consider before you start a business? Thank you, teacher. I hear you right. Uh, good, good, good. <laughs> You hear, okay, you hear me well. Excellent. But yes, I hear uh, you. Express well. your opinion. I think that Riz can hear you well. I lost. She can hear you. You can speak ah, okay. now. Yeah, you can speak now. Well, uh, I think that uh, pharmacy. We don't stop. It mm -hmm. doesn't stop to the university. Yeah. So that's why she has more time right now because they yes. are they are older. Yes. If, for example, sure. I like I said before, I, my friend ha, has uh, a bar, but he drunk. Yes. But he drunk. And sometimes he's drunk and he, I can say his money because he don't pay the, the beer that he's drinking. He doesn't pay for, for the beer he, that he, he, he drinks. Ah. Yes, he doesn't pay. So this is he's not a good earner because he's lost money in that he's, time, right? Uh, he's losing money. But that's a kind of a... Uh, uh, Hello, teacher. Hi. What happened? It's like you have to see if it's going to be rentable. So I think that's that two factors that you have to see how much money you're going to spend and if it's going to be rentable. We're talking about delivery business. Ah, okay, okay. So do you think delivery is profitable or not? Yeah, it's like the most popular right now. It doesn't matter what you're buying, you can have delivery for food, for any item. Any product. Any product, yeah. True. Medicine, uh -huh. shampoo. And are we talking about what are the most important factors to consider before starting? A business. Um, a, a, a business, yeah. yes. 
um, I think it's necessary to have a, a little money. <laughs> yeah. Um, for to for to start for yeah, to, start. to start. This is something the, that happened. That hmm? The way they make their cakes is uh -huh. change, and that affect affect uh -huh. the sales. Just are are fine. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I, I think those two things are fine. The delivery because many of all do not like to go out for the COVID. For the, for, yes, for the pandemic. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, so, did you discuss the two questions? Yeah. Okay, and, okay perfect. Mm -hmm. e Okay, so almost everybody's back. I am going to take the attendance right now to make sure that everybody's here, everybody's in the house. Now you can't complain. I gave you enough time to talk because it's talking Tuesday. So um, I'm going to check the first person here is Beatriz. Okay, I can see uh, you and I can hear you. Nice. Mariela? Present. Okay, same for you. Uh, I can see you and hear you. Blanca? I'm here. Brenda? I'm here. We haven't se seen Brenda in a, in a long time. I wonder if um, it is a, yeah. I wonder yeah. if it's a robot or, or I don't know if she a computer, can right? <laughs> yeah. Brenda, Brenda, miss you. Miss you, Brenda. It's another person. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's Brenda's Maybe sister, it's, right? Yeah. Yeah. My twin. <laughs> her twin, okay. Her the voice is twin. different also. Yeah, uh -huh. I think she's changed. Okay, Diana. <laughs> present we're not sure if Diana is there because we only see the, the background right the, the bed is uh, empty <laughs> yeah the bed is empty yeah. uh, Diego yeah probably <laughs> hi teacher I'm here oh okay floor very inspired I'm here teacher okay I saw floor in the breakout room so I know she's there uh Francisco Presentation. Talking to the moon. Okay, Freddy's. Next one is Laura. Present teacher. Awesome. I haven't seen Laura in a, in a while too. Uh, Laura no Jackie? está. Laura no está. I think she's not here. Laura is gone. <laughs> I, I was realizing that I forgot to put the pillows under the blankets just ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course okay okay make a draw okay jackie has some problems with the internet but she's there Let's i'm make... here teacher yeah, don't worry jackie i know you're there harvin present teacher uh, juan jose i'm here Gustavo? Yes, I'm here. Miguel Angel? I'm here, teacher. Fabio? I'm here. Rolando? I'm here, teacher. Yanari? I'm here, teacher. Roxana? Oh, that was a picture from, this, from the sky. Okay, so Elizabeth and Suleim is not here. Okay, so excellent. Thank you so much. We got, basically we got a full house. We can say that. So it's great to see you all and hear you all guys. So um, I listened to everybody talking. So I think that you got to give your opinion about the two questions. Uh, quickly, just to have some ideas, what kind of business did you mention in the conversations? 
can you mention three or four businesses that uh so we can make a little list about okay. food food francisco uh big one i we talk about the delivery service delivery okay somebody else another kind of business no only delivery service for uh, the all people okay excellent someone else from another breaker room i'm taking ideas so i can start my own business give me more private, ideas. private transport oh private transportation i got it yeah. which one sorry i didn't hear her products her product I didn't hear well, so maybe you can write it in the chat. Uh, Beatriz? Ah, oh, skincare products. Got it. Beatriz? I cannot hear you. Um, personal care product. Personal care product. Okay, got it. A pharmacy, okay. Yeah, medicine during a pandemic, it's not a bad idea. Chocolate that I drink, okay, chocolate. Drinks, okay, got it, good. And, um, well, we're going to you just talk about products, but you can also think about services. Don't forget about that. Uh, for example, I can think about uh, having private classes, right? So that's something that I can do uh, nowadays if I had the time. <laughs> now I'm going to go on. And the second question was, what factors are important to consider? Uh, somebody mentioned money. That's important <laughs> yeah but 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 it's they, not the most important because some people have the they, money but they they don't start any business okay the the most the the complement for money is a low investment versus a return in short time okay that's more technical low low investment versus short time, mm, let's say results or income, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. Maybe have the brands is important. Have the what? Have the brands. The brand? Yes. Okay, the brand. Someone else? One more, one more factor that is important to consider before you start your own business. The image that you that want promotion. to create. Okay, wait a second. So the, the image that you, well, the product or the company image. Mm -hmm. So that would be ah. like the marketing, right? Uh, aspect. Yes. Yes. Have, the have the knowledge and the techniques techniques for techniques. making the product yeah okay knowledge and techniques okay the situation of the of the society i don't know society Maybe because of the pandemic a lot of uh, business came out yeah, a lot of yeah a lot of business uh went down or they were closed or they lost um a lot of income right so yes that's important give me just a second i want to get my computer charger and here it is okay so um that is something to consider right something really important now we're going to go on and uh, as you can see you are becoming experts in business so that's good i just want you to finish the english module okay finish the english module before you go to your business because if you are bilingual and you have your business you can go you can 
grow more, right? And expand your, your product to another country. Now, uh, we're going, or another continent. We're going to go on with today's um, topic. Let me share the screen with you. Uh, make sure that your microphones are off, guys. Perfect. Thank you. Here you go. So uh, we're testing products. Uh, the objective is that you will be able to establish the most appropriate methods to test a new product. Questions. There are some specific questions to discuss. So I'm going to ask uh, Miguel, can you please read the questions, the two questions? Okay. Um, what do you, why do you think if necessary to test product before they are released to the market? Okay. And the second question, uh, Brenda? Okay. Is, um, uh, have you ever test a product? Have you ever? Have you ever tested a product? Tested a product, that's correct. So have you ever tested a product? Those are the two questions that you're going to discuss. So that means I will have an extra opportunity to talk to your partner, but I am going to uh, add, I'm going to add an extra question here. So, uh, because we already discussed about uh, testing the product, about uh, the importance. So besides this, uh, I need you to discuss or to add the question, what kind of products do you think require more testing? What kind of product or what, which products require more testing? Because there are some products that require more than others. For example, cars, right? They have to go through a lot of tests because if they are not well tested, what will happen? What will happen if cars don't get... Make uh, an accident. You crash. That would be the least, the, the, the least of the problems. We became angels. The, the people, product. people can die, right? People can die if the cars uh, are not tested well. So maybe, maybe the product for the baby uh, needs the. So don't give don't give the answer. That's what you're going to answer to discuss in the in the breakout rooms. So okay. I'm going to give you just four minutes, guys, for this. Uh, so we go to the same breakout rooms in three, two, one. Go. Sure. What is the second question, please? Or the, the, the question that you other? I will share in the, in the chat. Okay.
So, now, no? now I think it's already fine. Are you saying something? <laughs> We're having some trouble here, teacher. Ah, uh, you cannot hear uh, Beatriz. Anna, right? yes. Yeah, I have problems with my audio teacher. It maybe sometimes. Maybe if you disconnect the headphones uh, or is the internet, maybe you can turn off the camera. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the connection is not so stable. Okay. I'm going to, to try that. Okay. If not, uh, Beatriz is listening to you, Fabio. You can you can tell her uh, your okay. opinions. Okay. Why I think it's necessary to test uh, products before they're released to the market? Uh, that's because. So maybe you are doing, you are doing something that nobody will buy it. So you have to think about it. And um, another thing can be. What, what are the, what are Maybe the medicine? Sorry, vaccines. The medicine, vaccines like the coronavirus. The vaccines, yeah, definitely. Oh, they yeah, have that's to be good. tested really well. Uh -huh. That's why they they took um, a lot of time to to launch it in the. In the to, market. To the market, yeah. In a dental clinic. And they, um, there was a brand of, mm, yes. but have, have, have to be like a, like, like door, a, another way to, to say that. Teacher. Hello. Teacher. Ah, uh, yeah. How, we need your help. <laughs> How we can say, for example, in Spanish, when we said, eh, doy mi palabra. That, I give you my that word. Something works. Like that? Yeah, I give you my word or I guarantee you. I guarantee. I guarantee. Okay. I guarantee you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, guarantee. I, I give, I give or I guarantee you. You can say I give you my word or I swear. I, I swear. I swear, I promise, I guarantee you. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, perfect. That the okay. chocolate is good. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> yes, teacher, uh, I told you, uh, I, well, uh, we're talking about the, the, the experience about the business after the pandemic. And I, I am a business for a chocolate. You have a business, a chocolate yes. business. Okay. Yes, yes, uh -huh. this is my 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 business. So you can offer it to Floor and she you can, you can <laughs> yes. send her some yes. samples. How do you say convencer? Persuade. I, 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 I try to persuade, persuade <laughs> or convince. Yes, uh -huh. he, or convince. he already showed me like the the the, the bars. The, Yes, but how to the tablillas? Tablillas, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. nice. What do you the say tablillas? That would be chocolate bars. Uh, um, yeah. The side bars. of the chocolate bar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and, perfect. And looks really good. They look <laughs> really good. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, everybody. So we were having some uh, connection problems with some of your classmates due to the rain, especially, I think. Um, but I think that everybody got to say something, okay, about the questions. Now, uh, the questions are just an opening or a pre-activity for the conversation that we are going to have, okay? But I was listening that you were mentioning that um, some of the products that require a lot of testing are, uh, for example, medicine. Somebody mentioned medicine. Uh, food. Food. Uh -huh, food, especially processed food, right? Personal care. Personal care. 
construction materials. Personal care thing, products and construction materials. Yes. Yes. Cars. They are Service. Cars. What? Which one? Sorry. Service. Service. Mm -hmm. Like, um, uh, I don't know, in delivering is a, is a service, is a service. Yes. And then we have uh, most uh, or other app that we have to choose. Oh, okay, okay. Got it. Uh, yeah, there are some things related to services. For example, some apps, as you mentioned, right? Especially the, the apps that have to do with money, like the banks. Those kinds of products uh, or require a lot of testing, right? Because you're, you're dealing with people's money. So uh, yeah, for sure. That requires a lot of testing before you launch it to the market. Now, we're going to go on and uh, we're going to practice the conversation. Okay, so we're going to focus on the pronunciation and the fluency. Uh, intonation is part of the, of the speaking part. So right now, they are, there's a conversation between Alejandro and his dad. Remember from the Papa sandwich? <laughs> so these are the guys, okay? Uh, they are making decisions uh, about testing the new Papa sandwich. Uh, so Alejandro and his father, right? We are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think the site and handling test would be the best option because, because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? Will the product be branded or not? I'll let you decide on that, son. Great. As for the method, I was thinking about the monadic. Consumers will eat and taste our product first, and then we'll rate it. I find it more coherent for our new product, the Papa's Sandwich. You're learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype, our target audience, marketing, etc. So as you can see, there are some other terms that we already studied at the beginning of the, of the module, right? Like prototype, uh, the target audience, marketing, right? The customers that is part of the target audience. And uh, the prototype is that first product that you're going to create, how it's going to look, how it's going to taste, right? The, all the details and the marketing strategy that you're going to implement. Are you going to use social networks? Are you going to use traditional method? like the radio, TV. Um, so what are you going to do? Um, so let's focus on pronunciation, okay? So you don't have to activate your, your um, microphone, but you can listen and repeat. We are ready to test our new product. What do we do? We are ready to test our new product. What do we do? It's a question, right? What do we do? Um, first, I think the side and handling test would be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. First, I think the side and handling test, okay, if you want to read at the same time as me, that's okay, but usually it's better to repeat, right? Because when you're reading at the same time, maybe you pronounce something one way and I pronounce it in another way, and then we don't have an agreement. So I'm going to continue because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? What about the other variables? Will the product be branded or not? Will the product be branded or not? I let you decide on that, son. I'll let you, I'll let you decide on, decide on, right? So you can see a little link sound there. Decide on that song, decide on that. So as you can, you can use the annotation, that's okay. Somebody was using it to point out, right? The one word that may be a little bit confusing. So now this is too much. I'm going to 
clear this one and use a different one. So this side on, right? So we have a little link sound here. A branded or branded or we have another connection here. A, what about, right? What about, so we connect this to a feel it, smell it, taste it. So we make a connection there too, right? So that's a way that we get fluency when we're making link sounds with the words. We connect the, it allows, for example, here, we change the T sound for an R sound and we join it to the uh sound. So we say it, al it allows, right? It allows a uh, side end, the same thing. You change the T for the R sound and you say side and handling, right? Side and handling. A best option, best option. So you connect the T and the O, right? Best option. Uh, great. As for the method, as for the method, I was thinking about, thinking about, right? You make a connection there, the monadic. Consumers will will eat with will eat and eat and eat and taste our product taste our product so you don't pronounce the letter e so you say taste right and you connect it taste our product taste our um, product first and then we'll rate it rate it rate. You don't pronounce the letter E again, and you change the T for the R sound. Rate it, rate it, okay? Um, I find it, find it, find it, more coherent for our, for our, for our new product, the Papa Sandwich. You're learning, son, you're learning, you're, right? You're learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype, okay? The prototype, our target audience, target audience and marketing, et cetera. Okay, so um, prototype right here. So the T is pronounced like an R. You don't say prototype, you say prototype. So, those are the little details about the language, especially about the American pronunciation, right? American English pronunciation, that it's a little bit different, right? From the British. So I am going to um, let you familiarize with the conversation for one minute so you can practice the conversation by, by yourself alone. And then I will send you to the breakout room so you can practice with somebody else. Laura, you have a question? Yes, can you repeat how to say will eat and taste? Mm, where, ah, will, ah, consumers will, will eat, will eat, right? Will eat and taste, will eat and taste, will eat and taste. <laughs> it's low, Peter. Will eat, will eat, will eat, will eat. We'll eat, we'll eat, eat, eat and we'll eat and we'll eat and we'll eat and taste. We'll eat and we'll eat and Thank taste you. our product. We'll eat and taste our, taste our product. At the beginning, it, it's a little difficult, right? When you're trying to connect the sounds, but if you do it frequently, when you're reading, when you're trying to speak, you do it. What I used to do when I was a student, like long time ago, um, I used to have these copies, right, of the of different readings. And I, with a pencil, I used to make those, um, let's say, little connections, little matches, like ganchitos, right? Um, with all the words that I knew that I could connect. And then I started reading, uh, including the sounds, right? Including the, the link sounds. So I was doing it. Then I did it again over and over until I did it really fast. That was just uh, to get fluency. But for me, I knew that it was important to know the pronunciation because there are some people who want to speak English really fast, like Eminem or any rapper, 
but they don't focus on pronunciation. And that's a problem because you try to speak fast, but with bad pronunciation. So it's, it's a bad combination to understand here, right? So first you need to make sure that you pronounce the words correctly and then you connect them to, to say them quickly, right? Um, so we are ready to test our new product. What do we do? We are ready to test our new product. What do we do? Um, wait a second. I'm going to just test our new product. What do we do? What do you we do? So the T C here is pronounced as R. What do you we do? What do we do? Uh, first, I think the silent handling test would be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? Variables, that would be another word that you, not, you need to practice pronunciation. Variables, uh, it comes from the verb very, variables, uh, branded, that would be another word to pronounce, branded with the id sound. Um, okay, what about the other variables? Uh, will the product be branded or not? I let you decide on that, son. Great, as for the method, I was thinking about the monadic. Consumers will eat and taste the, our product first, then and then will rate it. I find it more coherent for our new product, the Papa's Sandwich. You're learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype, our target audience, marketing, etc. So that's what you're going to do right now in the breakout rooms. Okay, you can take a screenshot of the conversation. Teacher, please, can you repeat it again? Yes. The variables. You scare me. Okay. Uh, the what about what about the other the other? So this is pronounced the other because the next word that is uh, next to it, right? The word that is beside it, it starts with the vowel sound. So we say the other, the other variables variables. If you say va va variables, it's okay. Variables. No, it's just va. Variables. Variables. You can say variables <laughs> or variables, that would be okay. But it's not B, it's not B, it's V. Variables. You can say variables like uh, A, E, but if you just pronounce it as an A, like you say variables, that's okay. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. And that. the next one, coherent. A coherent. Yeah, coherent. That's another word. Okay. That's the other word. Coherent, prototype, target audience, potential customers, and marketing, right? So handling test, site and handling, don't forget about that one. And allow, allow, yeah, allow. Decide on, decide on, and monadic. It's not monadic, it's not monadic, it's monadic, right? Monadic, the stress is on the second syllable, monadic. Oops, wait, right here. Okay, monadic. Um, so I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. Let me just check that everybody has a partner because we have some problems in the previous round. Uh, okay, so we have two people here. Why are four people in room number five? Okay, wait a second. I'm going to send some people to another room. Oh, I remember why. And perfect. We're ready to go. So you have exactly four minutes maximum. I think that in three minutes, you can do the conversation two times, right? With playing each role at a time. Ready, set, and go. I said limitation to join the breakout room. And I will see you in a moment. <laughs> okay. Because I don't, I don't take the screenshot. 
I, I, you didn't I have. The screenshot? You have it? Okay. No, I have yes. the PDF teacher, but I don't find the, the, the page. The option. Yes. Oh, okay. The page is number okay. 19. Okay. 19 for the previous exercise. And this one would be number 20 for the completion. Page number 20. Okay, nice. Exercise number two. Yeah. Yes, I take. I, okay, I take I this. Please. I have it. Got it. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Uh, you are Alejandro or Father Laura? Uh, Alejandro. Okay, you start. Yes, I start now. We are ready to test our new product. What we? What do we do? First, I think the site and handling test will be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? Will the product be branded or not? Mommy. I let you decide Mommy. on that sound. Mommy. Great. As for the method, Mama. I was thinking about the monadic. Customer Mommy. will do it and test our product first. Mommy. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, I, I will go on. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No problem. Okay. And then, and, and then we read it. I feel I find it more coherent for okay. our new product, okay. the Papa sandwich. Okay, coherent. You're learning, son. I don't that son. Great. As for the metal. I was thinking about the monadic. Consumers will eat and end coherent. Okay, you're learning, you're learning some. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customer, the pro prototype or Okay, what? A start. Okay. We are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I did the sink and handling test. Could be the best of for, for, for our new product, the Papa Sandwich. You're learning soon. You're learning some. You're learning some. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customer. Customer, the uh, prototype, uh, our target audience, marketing, etc. Okay. I begin. Okay. Uh, customers. Very good. We are your father. See, we let you decide on that one. Great. As for the method, I was thinking about the monadic consumer will it will it and um, taste our product first, and then we rate it. I find it more coherent for our new product, the Papa sandwich. You're learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype or target audience, marketing, etc. Target. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. As for the metal, I, I was thinking about the monadic. Customers will eat and taste our product first, and then we'll rate it. I find it more coherent for our new product, the Papa's Sandwich. Oh my God. Hello. Hello. Hi, 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 hi. Who, who say, oh my God? OMG, I think that was the <laughs> ADD. Yeah, ADD. It's a very expressive lady. Okay, so we're going to go on. Uh, did everybody have enough chance to practice? Enough time? Yes? No? Yes. Okay. Yeah, for, yes. yeah because right now I need volunteers. Who wants to break the ice? Okay, not Emilia this time. So Diana and Floor, raise your hands. Okay, Diana and Floor. 
I want to be the father. Okay, Lord. and then we're going to listen to Juan Jose and Diego, okay? So, we have the mother and the daughter. <laughs> okay. Alejandra. Alejandra and, and, Alejandra and the mother, okay, good. Okay, we are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think we, uh, first, I think the sign and handle test will be the best option because it allows the customers to see a product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? Will the product be branded or not? I'll let you decide on that, son. Daughter. Great. Ask, ask daughter. Ah, daughter. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm your daughter. Mother. Great. <laughs> Sorry. As, as for the meta, I was thinking about the monadi. Consumers will eat and taste our product first, and then we'll rate it. I find more coherent for our new product, the Papa Sandwich. You're learning, my little daughter. <laughs> Yes, we have mother. so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype, our target audience, and marketing, etc. Okay. Yes, mother. Awesome. <laughs> Class for the mother and daughter, please. Excellent. So we're going to go on with the father and son right now. Wait, where are the reactions? I cannot see them. Ah, uh, Alejandro. Okay, Alejandro and Juan Jose, you are the father, okay? We are ready to test our new product. What do we do? Um, first, I think design and handling test will be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? Will the product be branded or not? I let you decide on that song. Great. As for the metal, I was thinking about the monadic consumer will eat in, uh, will eat in taste our product first, and then we rate it. And finding it more coherent for our new product, the Papa sandwich. You're learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers. The prototype, our target audience, marketing, etc. Okay, there you go. Juan well, Jose is perfect for to make the father. He sounds like very wise, giving advice and opinion, right? Okay, awesome. Uh, thank you so much, guys. I I don't know why I'm I find it hard to okay to get the reactions. And uh, do we have any other participants? Remember, right? What about the other variables? Um, and the other word, coherent, and monadic, uh, and potential customers, prototype, target, target audience, and that's it. So, do we have any other volunteer? One more a pair of students who want to practice the conversation. Raise your hand or use a reaction or just activate the microphone. Okay, so we have Miguel and you will practice with Francisco. Okay, Francisco and Miguel, go ahead. Okay. okay. Uh, we are ready to. Uh, so, sorry. Miguel? Not a problem. Not a problem. Continue. Oh, okay, we are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think the sign and handle test will be the best option because and tasting. Uh, what about what about the other variable? Will the product the brander or not? I let you decide on that song. Great. As for the metal, I was thinking about the morality customer with eight and test or product first. And then we'll rate it up more 
comes on for our new product, the Papa sandwich. You're learning some. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss, discuss about our potential customer, the prototype or target, audience, marketing, etc. Okay, there you go. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, let me check reactions. Where are you? Here. Okay, so claps for them as well. And I think that we're done, right, with the conversation practice. Now, um, as you could see, and I could hear, right, as well, uh, when you start making these little uh, notes, right, about the way that people use the language, and then you try to speak in that way, it feels more natural. It feels a little bit uh, more uh, fluent, let's say, and it helps you, right? It helps you to communicate because sometimes we tend to do everything very uh, literal, very the way that we see it is the way that we pronounce it. And we don't make these little modifications in the way that we speak. So that's the reason why I'm giving you this extra information, right? So whenever you have the opportunity to listen to someone or to speak to someone, you pay attention to that, right? Because sometimes, uh, for, just to give an example, um, if you listen to a song the first time, for the first time, you don't understand everything in English, right? But if you listen to a song and you see the lyrics, you understand more. So the problem is not that you don't know the vocabulary, it's that you don't understand the message because of the way that they connect the sounds. So sometimes the problem is not the, that you don't know, is that you don't understand how they speak or how they make the connections or the reductions in the language, right? So they don't say, I am going to, they say, I'm a go, or they say, I'm gonna, right? So they lose a lot of contractions. They don't say we are, they say we're, we're excited. We're, and you think we're, is that we're like, claro, we're like, no, right? It's just a contraction. So you, we need to get adapted to the way that people speak the language, the native speakers speak the language. When you're watching movies, when you're watching videos, it's the same thing, okay? They are not thinking about, oh, I am going to speak slowly or I'm going to speak without contractions because maybe somebody is going to listen to me in Latin America and they are not going to understand the way that I speak. No, they just speak naturally because that's the way they do it. It's like Spanish. When we speak Spanish to someone from our country, uh, we speak the way, the, the normal way. So we don't change the, the way that we speak because we don't think about it. Um, so it, it's spontaneous. Now we're going to finish with the questions, okay? About the conversation. Qu first question, what type of test do they decide to apply? I'm going to ask Gustavo, what type of test do they decide to apply? Sorry, can you repeat, please? What type of test do they decide to apply? Um, the, the site and handling test. Site and handling test. Freddy's? Yes. Do you agree with Gustavo? Site and handling test is the one that they decide to apply? Oh, I was I was getting some medicine for my animals that is oh okay okay got it so you say yes I think there is monadic no they said about the test they said ah the test they will apply that now question number two Rolando what what testing method will they implement for the pepper sandwich uh monadic test why? Monadic method. Metal. The monadic method. Why? Because um, the consumer will eat and test the product. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Next question is for a lady. I'm going to ask Laura. Uh, what are the next decisions Alejandro and his dad will take about testing the new Papa sandwich?
Laura or uh, Mariela? What are the next decisions Alejandro and his dad will take about uh, the new Papa sandwich? About potential consumer or uh, prototype and target audience and marketing. Target audience and marketing, etc. right? Other, in other aspects. Good, excellent. Thank you so much. Class for the three volunteers to answer the questions. Good. If you want to uh, have a better idea about testing, uh, you have two links, okay, uh, over there that you can access uh, from your computer, right? Or And right now we are going to finish with the questions or comments about today's class, about the topic that we have been discussing. If you don't have questions, I have. But it's better that you ask me the questions. Uh, some people have problems with the internet right now, so that's a problem. Okay. Any questions or comments? Teacher, I, I have a question. Okay. Uh, I, I don't understand because uh, the letter T uh, in, in some work uh, sound like R in another word sound T for example prototype prototype uh -huh. um, the first letter T is R in yeah. the second in the second letter T is, is is sound T normal why okay I don't have a specific explanation for that because uh, it's a variation from the American English. Because uh, mm -hmm. if you hear the British, for example, they would mm -hmm. say prototype. Mm -hmm. uh, they would say water. They don't say water. Uh, in, in English, that is called, uh, in American English, that is called retroflex. It's mm -hmm. like when you pronounce the T as an R. So uh, it just, they just decided to to do that in some specific words. Like there are many words, like for example, to yes. tomato, right? They say tomato, mm -hmm. uh, potato, or they say uh, eh, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So there are mm -hmm. there are many, many cases, but usually the T is in between, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's not at the beginning. It's not at the beginning. And in, um, in the case of the last sound being the letter T, they pronounce it as R when the next word starts with a vowel sound. Okay. But if it doesn't, they pronounce the T. Okay. So the next time, right? For example, the next class, they say next class. Um, there are some words, right? There are some words that where that applies. Uh, but usually, it's, in the middle and all you have to do is to learn and pay attention to which words they pronounce that R instead of the letter T. Uh, because if you see the example of potential, for example, mm -hmm. there are two letter T's, but they don't pronounce the two T's as R. They say potential. So the, the last T, when you have the, the ending, tial, it's pronounced shall. Right, potential, sure. exponential, uh, whatever show, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, it's like that. So mm -hmm. this is something that, you, that to understand it, you will have to study uh, more about phonetics, for example. Mm -hmm. That is something that we study when in the, in, in, at the university. Um, or to do your, some research, right? Some research about which words on the internet, right? Which words are pronounced, which T's are pronounced as R in English. And then you will probably find a list of words that, uh, where the T is pronounced as R. Or maybe a video, right? On YouTube, you can uh, look for that. Um, but yeah, it's a good question. It's a good question. Mm -hmm. uh, however, I don't have 
and I don't know if there's a specific explanation, like a rule, uh, because I feel that it's more about the variation that the, the people from the United States have made to the language. Uh, because the original English is not from the US, it's from the UK, right, from, uh, from England. So, um, and over there, it's very strange that they pronounce the, the T as R. So, it's like, yeah, like, ha, ha, like, Harry, like, like a comment. Like Harry Potter, right? And then in American English, we know that it's Harry Potter, right? Harry Potter. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, yes. funny. it's funny, but it's, that's the way it is. <laughs> okay. I was... Uh, make a comment about that because um, I'm learning my, my English in Canada. Uh -huh. So this is a mix in between American US and, and British. British, exactly. And after that, I was in, in one country where they spoke um, British English. So sometimes I mix words with accent British between the, the words and U.S. Uh, accent, so it's, uh, it's a little bit complicated for me because in my in my mind, I it's, it's, I it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's good, it's correct. It's yeah. complicated or it's complicated. It's it's exactly <laughs> <laughs> like that. You see, yeah. You see, I, I I make the the mix between the two the two accents. accents. So, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a comment only that. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Um, interested or uh, interested, right? So there are many, many variations between British and and American. It's water or water. Water or water. Yeah. Uh, and there is something else that that I would say also about the formal and informal English. If you pay attention in American English, when people uh, say. Uh, water or they say one uh, i mean they they are using the r is considered a little bit informal right uh but in british english when you don't pronounce the t and you pronounce it as r and you say what and then you you like you kind of omit the final sound of the letter r for example is considered very sophisticated, like high class, when you omit, almost omit the sound of the R at the end of the words. But in American English, it's the opposite, right? Uh, if um, you omit it, uh, it's informal, it's like street English, right? So it's just a, another characteristic, right? The two accents, but, but, for you not to get confused, uh, I would I would probably um, remind you that we are in America, the continent, right? So the majority of the exposure to the language that we are going to have is from uh, the U.S. or from Canada. That is basically uh, the way that we learn the language in Latin America, right? Like it's American English. Uh, but if you know that because of your job or because of your plans for the future, you are going to be using more British accents or more British English, uh, then you will have to study English here, but learning how to pronounce or how to use it in, 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 Brit in a British accent. So in that, only in that case, but other than that, like, if you ask me, right, I use American English. I think that is American English. Uh, but I know some differences between the two accents. So whenever I had the, the chance to interact with someone from the UK, from Asia, from Africa, uh, because they, they learn uh, British English, I, I try to adapt, okay? At least to understand. <laughs> Maybe not to speak that like that. But, but yeah, that's the way it is. Okay, so the... We went a little bit uh, longer in that question, but it's something important, okay, to differentiate the two the two accents teacher. and the variation between the two uh, accents as well. Teacher, okay? can, teacher, can go back to the previous slide. Sure. I need to see the links. 
Any questions? Okay. Yeah, they are in the manual. This is on page number 20. And uh, before I forget, uh, for today's session, as yesterday, we had just, uh, we had a uh, Fabio, you. Fabio staying for the extra 10 minutes. I need to ask Harbin if it's possible for you to stay for the last 10 minutes. Today, no teacher. Not today, okay. Uh, what about you, Laura? I'm sorry, teacher. Today is difficult to me. I, I know. I think it's because of your <laughs> of your son, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I heard that in the breakout rooms. Yeah, I think that some, somebody somebody didn't take the extra ten minutes last time last week, but I'm not sure if it was Diana, Brenda, Jennifer, Floor. I don't remember who that the person was because we skipped one person. Um, so after Laura, we Me, have, if you want, teacher. we have Rolando or, uh, yeah, Gustavo, you could, you could try it out if it's possible. Yes. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Perfect. So in, in this case, Harbin or Laura, remember that tomorrow you're going to, one of you will have to stay, right? So you let me know if it's possible. Okay. 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 Thank Excellent. You. Thank you so much. Uh, remember that tomorrow is the last day of the week two. Okay. So you have to uh, catch up with the assignments. Uh, I think that some people already finished the midterm uh, in the platform. So that's great. Uh, you have to finish the the the, 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 the test today or tomorrow. 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 Okay. Uh, it's the last day. Yes. So uh, if you don't have any other questions, thank you so much for connecting tonight. I know it was a little bit complicated because of the rain in some places, but we made it until the end. So it was amazing. We had a lot of chances to practice and we finished with Talking Tuesday. So uh, have a good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good thank night. you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. For all. Thank you. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. everybody. Bye, bye. Good night, everybody. Bye, bye. Thank you. Have a bye, good Mike. night. Bye, Mike. Bye, Bye, bye. 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 guys. Okay, so here we are, Gustavo. Okay, teacher. So Sorry, I forget your name. To... Always, always I want to uh, ask you, and always I forget to ask you. Ah, name. yeah, because we only have English Operativo there. Yeah, it's ready. <laughs> Freddy, okay. Yeah. So, uh, ready, Freddy. Okay. You can remind me because of that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, uh, do we continue in British or in American English? Uh, American. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I'm just kidding. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I suppose that is kind of confusing for you having those two experiences, right? Yeah, because uh, in the beginning, I'm going to Canada without knows nothing or only the, the, the English that you learn in, in in the college uh -huh. after that uh, i'm learning canada a little bit english uh, a little bit uh, french after that i'm going to work in africa so you went to there, africa okay. yes there they spoke um, a british uh, english so it's a little bit complicated in the, in the beginning because i don't understand almost nothing you didn't um, understand any almost anything almost anything yeah almost almost anything and uh, even the, the french and learn french but when arriving in 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 france my french is ah very french pretty they call <laughs> yeah it's different from the french <laughs> yeah. they speak in, in canada that's right yes exactly so uh after I'm come to El Salvador and start to 
to work here. I understand perfectly the, the English. Um, maybe some words I'm, I'm trying to, to understand the connections, but I understand. Uh, but uh, for the same thing uh, that I, I, I learned the English, uh, the people maybe don't understand completely the, the way that I, 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 I spoke. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but you, but it's good that you have those experiences because uh, it expands your mind, right? To mm -hmm. the reality of the language or the languages. Okay? Or the language, yeah. Languages, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I went through a similar experience when I went to the US for the first time because I was uh, interacting with people from 32 other countries. And um, there were people from all the continents. Uh, so my roommates were from Africa. Uh, the people that I was talking to almost every day, there were just like four people from Latin America. Then around four were from Africa. There was one, there were two from Asia. And from Europe, I got around three or four. So it was really interesting. At the beginning, it was hard to understand some people uh, from some specific countries like India or, or uh, some countries in Africa. Mm. But, but uh, overall, it was a good experience because at the end, I, I could adapt to, to, to them, right? To the way they spoke the language because we communicated through English. Um, and it was just about six or five weeks that we were interacting with each other. Uh, yeah, for me, almost almost the same because uh, when I work in, in Africa, I work with, uh, in the compound, we are already 1,500 people. Okay. Between, I don't know, maybe, 30 or 40 countries different, different people countries. from the, yeah, different countries. Yeah, and all these people uh, spoke in, in the English the different way. Uh, for example, the, the, the worst people for speak English is the, the Spanish people. Really? They have, yeah, they have uh, an accent, accent uh -huh. uh, 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 like a Spanish, like that. They have a like strong the, accent. Yeah, uh -huh. they uh, they spoke like the English is is right. I don't know if you understand. Yeah. Yeah. For okay. example, nothing is nothing. For me, it's nothing. Uh, they say nothing. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Just for, all 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 the English for them is is like that. Yeah, I, I, it's true. I heard yeah. that. But they also say that to understand people from Asia is a little bit complicated from Japan or from China. It's a little challenging because they yeah, have a strong accent too. Yeah, and they spoke very fast. And they speak very fast. Very fast, fast, exactly. Even the, the Indian people is yeah, like that. The, it's very true. fast, very fast in British accent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so... That's that's the issue about accents. Mm -hmm. And um, do you have any questions uh, or comments, Gustavo? Something that I can help you with? Mm, well, for me, uh, I have problems with the times of the verb. If, if with the tenses? When, no, with the with the times. Uh, the past, past, present, future. The past yeah. present, those future, are exactly. yeah, those are called tenses. Tense, okay. Tenses. I have problem with the tenses. With the bird tenses, got it. Yes, yes. This is the most uh, difficult to me uh, because uh, I lost when I need to change the verb or or maintain like the like present. Uh, mm -hmm. You know. I was I was listening to you and uh, almost 
the majority of the verbs that you use were in the present, but yeah. you were but you were talking about the past. So you say when I come to El Salvador and I was ah so that's when I came to El Salvador, right? Okay, uh, exactly. You see, so this is the problem. I I I lost when I need to change the the tense of the verb. Yeah. But from my perspective, it's mainly about the past, uh, mm. uh -huh. mainly about the past. So you will, you will definitely have to study the, the conjugation of the verbs, first of all, uh, especially the irregular ones, because the regular ones, it's easier. You know that you only add the ED, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so if you say dance, danced, uh, loved, loved, worked, worked, um, watched, watched. Right, so it's what, exactly. a bit easy. But then uh, with the irregular ones, yes, you will you will probably have to start learning some irregular verbs uh, in the past. Uh, you might start with the simple past form because that's what I perceive that that you were using the most, and also is the one that we use the most in everyday uh, communication, right? Because we're talking mm -hmm. about what happened yesterday, we talk about what we did in the morning, et cetera, et cetera. So we're using the simple past uh, frequently as well as the present. Uh, mm. We use the future, but for the future, I think that you don't have so many complications, right? You know that you use will or going to, depending on the, what you want to say. Um, but I would say that. And something that's it's a little bit uh, old school, I would say, but maybe it could work for you is that you start creating uh, examples or sentences in the in the different tenses. In, you could start mm -hmm. with the with the three basic ones like the present, the simple past and simple future. The uh, same verb. The same verb, but just mm -hmm. a different sentence or just change the sentence a little bit so you can conjugate the verb in the in the different forms um, so that could help you okay to like visually you see the three forms and you know which one is past present and future uh, so whenever okay. you're going to use the language you kind of remember that and try to avoid right uh, pronouncing the present verb when you try to say the past so okay. um, that could work, uh, memorizing the, some verbs in the, in the two tenses, uh, but especially the, the irregular ones, maybe the most frequently used verbs, that, that, could, that could be better because uh, there are a lot of irregular verbs that, we don't, verbs that we don't use normally. So why would you learn them right now? So you might okay. start with the, more, with the most frequent ones, um, you can find lists on, on the internet, like the 100 or the 50 most frequently used irregular verbs, and then you can conjugate them. Mm -hmm. And um, start creating your own dialogues, your own ideas uh, about the past, about the future, about the mm -hmm. present, so that you can uh, get accustomed to expressing your ideas about things that you did, things that you do and things that you will do, for example. Okay. So in that way, when you, whenever you have to tell your boss or someone about your, for example, the your last week or the last month uh, at work, like tell me about the numbers, uh, how do we do? Uh, uh, or when you talk about the plans, right? What are your plans for the next uh, semester in the, in the company? Mm -hmm. So whatever. Uh, you can you can try uh, creating those things that you normally say in Spanish, but in English. Yeah, uh, when you uh, when you when you say something, um, when the people hear and 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 read, I understand because if if some sometimes I I hear the music, mm -hmm. uh, I lost words because the pronunciation. Is, is different, but mm -hmm. but I see the 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 letter or the or the, the lyrics, lyrics mm -hmm. the lyrics, the lyrics. And I understand what they say. So I, this is the exactly example for me. 
Right. So that's what you got to do. That's what you got to okay. do. Yeah. Okay. For me, this is the, the comment that I, I can give you because it's, awesome. it's really, really good. The, the class, the, the way that you learn us uh, or show, uh, show the, the English is, is very, um, how do you say? Um, how do you interactive, say what? Interactive. Interac interactive, yeah. yeah. Interactive, yeah. Okay, <laughs> thank you for the feedback. I appreciate that. And I'm glad yeah. that you are uh, enjoying the learning the class in these classes too. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you for staying as well. Uh, okay. Hope to see you tomorrow, man. Have a good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Okay, good goodbye. Night. See you. See ya.